In recent years, in the commercial market of broadcasters, the trend towards digital files has been increasing, and there is a shift from videotape to optical discs and memory media. Also, there has been an increase in the amount of data used, and the question of how to store this data has become important. In this video, I would like to introduce the much talked about optical disc archive and explain the differences versus normal tape media. Before making a comparison, let's look at the characteristics of each. Optical media has been used up to now as a valuable long-term storage media based on its high ability to store data for long periods. On the other hand, tape media has been widely used in the data storage market due to its low cost, but it has some challenges in actual operation. Concretely, there are limits on compatibility between generations. Data access takes time due to fast forwarding and rewinding of long tapes. Tape media physically needs to contact to read and write data, which causes data error eventually. And also, there is no intercompatibility between systems, and this means that many users are concerned about the suitability of tape media for long-term archive media. However, Optical Disk Archive guarantees compatibility between generations and also allows good accessibility to data, and therefore can be used with peace of mind as archive media. Let's compare the durability of the optical disk archive versus tape media. The tape media cartridge corrodes, causing damage to the tape. On the other hand, with the optical disk archive, when water enters the cartridge and makes the disk dirty, cleaning with fresh water allows the disk to be reused. Optical Disk Archive is highly advantageous in terms of durability against water. And in recent years, we have received many reports from different locations that only optical data was able to be saved following disasters such as tsunamis and hurricanes. We also examined the issue of cuts in tape media. At the cut locations, the servo signal was lost and data could not be read. When this happens, it is hard to repair, and so there is a risk that valuable data will be lost. Next, we will explain Optical Disk Archive's advantages in terms of accessibility. Let's look at loading for tape media. You can see that the tape is removed from the cartridge and wound. Next, let's take a look at loading for the optical disc archive. The optical disc is removed like a disc changer. The optical disc archive is a product developed by Sony, featuring long-term data storage capability and random access. Twelve optical discs are stored in a cartridge and the 12 disks are counted as one volume in the file system, allowing large volume. Next, let's do a comparative test of the optical disk archive and a tape media. Let's mount each cartridge and compare the time taken to display the file. We can see that the optical disk archive file displays more quickly. The tape media requires the reading of the index partition, making display of the file slower. Next, let's measure the time needed to eject the cartridge. We can see that the optical disk archive is faster to eject. The tape media requires the winding of the tape, making ejecting slower. Next, let's read one gigabyte of data. First, we write the data.
The result is that optical disc archive finishes about 70 seconds faster than the tape media, which is known for being fast. The tape media takes time to cue. As you can see, reading has the same result. Next, please watch as we select certain files from a large number of files. With tape media, to access files, repeated rewinding and fast forwarding is needed. As a result, it takes time to read the data. The optical disk archive has the advantage of random access, allowing fast access to files, and it can be said that the time needed to read files is short. As an example of the advantage of random access, let's scrub some video data. With the optical disk archive, you can see that the video follows the scrubbing. With tape media, this is not possible. What will happen after many decades of long-term storage? Normally, nobody would remember the contents of the disk and would want to very simply directly check the contents of the disk to see if the data is needed. The optical disk archive file system uses the standard UDF file system format, widely used in the IT industry, like CD, DVD, Blu-ray technology. And as you can see with this functionality, the optical disk archive with its high data access capability is an ideal media. Next, we will explain about the optical disk archive's high speed. Everybody is used to using Blu-ray discs for data backups and recording videos. With five times more storage than a DVD, they are indeed convenient. But the optical disk archive has even more storage capacity and can read data even faster. Let's try writing 10 gigabytes of data with Blu-ray and optical disk archive. Sony has developed a drive with four times the reading laser heads of a Blu-ray in order to realize the essential high speed for archiving operations. Due to this, as you can see, compared to a normal Blu-ray, data can be written as much as 17 times faster. And with the realization of Sony's technology to rotate 10 times faster, as you can see, data reading can be achieved about 7 times faster than Blu-ray. We trust you can see just how fast data can be written. We hope you have been able to understand the differences between optical disk archive and tape media. By combining sufficient media reliability for long-term storage and the guarantee of compatibility between generations, we have realized the best TCO, the total cost of ownership, by reducing to a minimum the customer's investment over five years. We also hope you have understood how, by using the IT industry standard UDF file system, combined with the Optical Disk Archive's fast data access capability, this media is ideal for checking data recorded and stored for many decades. In addition, with the realization of fast data rates that could not be achieved with previous optical technology, it has become possible to quickly save data. As we have seen, we hope you can see how the Optical Disk Archive is an ideal media format for long-term storage and protection of your important data.
In addition, there are a variety of ways in which storage can be used. But at Sony, we will continue to make proposals for storage utilizing the fast data access and random access capabilities of the optical disk archive.